back in the town of Gillingham for another trip to the priest field. Now, of course, last time I was here, Gillingham had just been sent rock bottom of the league by Colchester United, but their fortunes have changed a bit since then. I did mention in that video that they had just been taken over by an American. And uh, during the January transfer window, they spent some money very well and have now found themselves on the brink of safety. They're not quite there yet. They can still very much get pulled in, but they are looking an awful lot better. That much can certainly be said. They've uh, been scoring goals, which they hadn't been at the time. I think they were still on single figures over 20 games into the season when I was here. But uh, signing Tom Nichols in particular has really invigorated things. However, today they've got a very tough task. The league leaders, Leighton Orient, are in town who um, I have a little bit of a soft spot for, I have to say. Um, just a nice club. Uh, with all the uh, charity shirt sponsors, one of which they'll be rocking today. It's a Harry Kane thing. But anyway, they. Um, I think the big, the big news today is that they can, if they avoid defeat tonight, clinch promotion, and then it's all about a match of time before they clinch the title. So, we're getting in good time. It's Champions League night, so I'll be keeping an eye on particularly Milan, Napoli. I think Real Madrid should be able to see out Chelsea with limited trouble. So I guess we'll just see what happens today, whether Gillingham can spring a surprise or whether Leighton Orient will clinch the promotion. Either day, either way, it will be a happy day for someone. So let's find out who. <laughs> the strand in the bridge field is not very good, but um, just got one from the burger van outside. Much better. The, the O's fans are making a good noise already. Sold our way in. You're not in it. I'm going to give Neil Gareth credit, he's turned it around. Tactics. And 
sneaky corner routines, no doubt. He scored a couple of bangers this season already. Oh, nearly another one. Not going to scripts at half time. Killing a lead 1 0. Press getting surrounded. Warriors are not happy. Warriors were all over Gillian the first 15 minutes, then pretty much Gillian's first attack. They got in behind, um, Beckham's brought down the um, Gillian forward and got sent off and it was basically Gillian domination from there, I hope that's unsurprisingly. Still played some good stuff Orion, but um, very much more likely to be a Gillian second than an equaliser as far as I, as far as I can tell anyway. But here come the teams, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to sort of spin on it on the part of Aino, isn't he? That's a, there's Honda. You're in time, Jesus. Alright, the second half is underway. Oh, Gillian didn't hoop it. Interesting. I'm about to bring on a literal giant. Look at him. Have a go. Oh. Another chance wasted. Can we do it again? This to seal the points for Gillingham. Yeah. Regardless of the result tonight, which uh, all the squad are very happy about. Players have been told to leave the field. Bloody hell. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if they come back out. Film is film is for Daniel. What they do? And the players are back. We've seen 
reckon Ori will probably wanted the game abandoned, but here we are. <laughs> I can't believe it hasn't been confirmed yet. What? It's still the same effect. There we go! Lady Ori on her up! It's official! They're losing, but they've been promoted. Definitely the best team in the league. I don't think an Orient player has even done a sprint since the game restarted. It's been a bit of a weird procession. Yeah, yeah, we've got shots on that team. Oh, here they come. Who is this, sir? There it is, Gillingham win 2 0. But Leighton Orient win promotion back to League One. to that game uh so the really early red card plus well then the instant scoring really took the impetus away from sort of anything to happen uh late orange started throwing stuff at it when they needed something but then as, while the power went out the results all went in their favor so the final 10 minutes was literally just chilling and passing the ball around each other they sped up with about two to go, but honestly, it was a bit of a farce at the end of that game. But, you know, Gillingham needed the points. Clearly a lot more than they ignore it because they didn't even gain any and still managed to get what they needed. So there you go. I think with that, Gillingham should be absolutely fine. Obviously, they ignore it in League One. Until next time, goodbye.